What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today, obviously you've seen the unboxing video. We're now actually going to put the exhaust on. Now, disclaimer, right from the beginning, you're not gonna hear the exhaust today, okay? So if you're here for the sound test, you're gonna have to wait a little bit. It's not gonna be today. All it is, is, is fitting the, the Austin Racing um, RS22s, the twin pipes on my bad boy, the 790 Duke. We're in the garage today. I haven't got much room in the garage. We're absolutely stuck in here. Lighting's terrible. I've got two studio lights, one at the front, one at the back, and I've got a little handy torch that I just kicked under there uh, that I'm going to use in when I take the hand, camera in hand and, and film it. So I'll film as much as I possibly can. Um, I'm going to be a bit all over the place. Today is just nothing's going to plan today. I was going to get dynoed uh, stock, you know, stock can, cat, everything. I'm going to get dynoed today, um, but there was a, a confusion and stuff. Uh, so that it wasn't able to get it dynoed. So I will be putting the stock can back on at some point because I need to, to be fair, I don't think the Austin Racings are ever going to get through an MOT. Let's talk, more action. Let's get some nice cinematics with the Austin Racing and then we'll bang it onto the, uh, onto the Duke. So probably the last time you see my face, we're going to go whoosh, swap the camera around. Let's get a bad boy exhaust on this bad boy of a bike. Uh, let's go. That weighs a ton. <laughs> Keep it hold on to that. Don't lose the bolts. Right, update. The weather has decided to completely change and be sunny. So I brought it outside. We're going to uh, risk sound with all the cars going past for the quality of being able to see what's actually going on. So update, what happened? So obviously the silence has come off. Simple silent silencer. Uh, clamp on the, on the cat. Uh, bolt up here, silence it comes off, nice and easy. Now we've already done, again, unscrewed the clamp or the collar uh, down at the bottom if it will focus. Move that one, and now we're on to the next step. So I'll set you up, and hopefully you can actually be able to see now, which is fantastic. And if you didn't watch the other video, this is where we're having the... No, it's not, I've done it again. It's not on that side. It's on this side. We've got the oil leak at the minute. The gasket's gone from the sump well that's what I think it is anyway um, it's really minor at the minute so I'm keeping an eye on it keeping an eye on the oil um, and then change it if necessary which will be necessary eventually and obviously sponsorship keeping the bike clean over there if you haven't got yourself some use my code 10% off so now it's time to get where's my finger that bolt Right there, 10 mil, straight in there, and wind the bitch out. This time, on the left hand side, we're gonna loosen off this bolt, so we can get into the second bolt that's holding in the cap underneath. Always wear gloves as well. So there we go. Next, the second one, top of there. Get a 19 mil, looks better. Not sure where the uh, camera cut out there, but 19 mil on the second nut, second bolt up there. Loosen them off. Move the foot peg out the way, out of the way. Out the way. Um, don't let it hit the, the engine case, put some cloth there and stuff. Next, we wanna get this front front sprocket cover out of the way uh, so we can get to the other bolts. So, a couple of screws or bolts, let's get them out. While the front sprocket cover's off, you may as well clean up all the uh, Excess oil and gunk and grime, it's all in there before it gets too late. You never know when you're gonna change it again. If you just change your chain and sprocket and stuff. So get in there and get dirty. And there we are. Nice and easy. And there's your front sprocket. Now, someone said on my YouTube videos or the comments section, let's go for a 16 tooth front sprocket. So I will be doing that at some point. Next, we're gonna get 
top bolt over the um, kickstand. We're gonna loosen it off, but do not take it off. Just loosen it up so we can get to the other bolt. So now we've moved the kickstand out of the way. It's like 10 mil spanner in the back just to loosen off that bolt. Voila. Now we can go and move this one. Loosen that bitch off. While you're taking all this off, you might as well give it a clean. Keep it clean where you can't normally get to while you're doing all this. Just keep your bike tip top condition. I've said it about four times, it's just worth doing. And with a bit of shimmy shammying back and forth, you may scratch the back of your uh, the swing arm where the cat fits. Um, I did slightly just from, you know, it's got to go back and forward and up and down and all sorts. Um, see if you can see in there, it probably won't focus. Um, but that's your cat. Once he's out, he's out. All right then, so all the rest of the footage got corrupted. So I haven't got the bike now, I'm just doing it off the, off the camera. But basically, uh, where we left off was we took the cat out. Uh, to fit the decap pipe, it's nice and simple. It basically slots over where the cat would have fit, straight on, onto there. Uh, don't tighten the clamp first, just slot it on. And then the twin cans, slot them over. You'll, uh, you'll have some little adjusters so you can fit the foot, pe foot pegs as well. Um, everything bolts on nice and nice and easily and then chuck the springs on and then tighten up the, uh, the clamp. But that is how it all looks. It's pretty straightforward from, from where we left off anyway. It's all just um, fitting the, the the exhausts, you might find it a bit fiddly with the, um, the spaces we did. I had to have someone come as well because getting a tool to fit if my shadow would get out of the way um, to find a tool to get into there, which was not neat, not, not nice. But they were the bolts come, uh, the kit comes with um, some Allen key bolts to replace it, which is nice and easy because I've got one for those. Um, which I'll flow, throw that clip in anyway. Um, at the end of this but yeah they I've uh, I've just come back from a ride and god they're loud but they sound fantastic so make sure you are subscribed so you can see all the rest of the videos of those pipes how badass they are so all we have to do now fit the airbox mod uh, a new air filter and then eventually some, ten some titanium headers from Austin Racing as well Oh, and the, um, to the fuel module as well. Get them on. Absolutely. B E A beautiful. Really not working. <laughs> it is working. <laughs> it's not. I mean, you got your side on. <laughs> it is working. Ah, uh, and now. Right. To be fair, you did come rescue me, so we need that tool. We wouldn't be this far. No, exactly. I would have still been with the decap pipe. Straight pipe in a 790. That would be. a good video though. Would have been ridiculous to do that. Yeah, I don't think I could risk it. Two hundred and twenty-seven grams for that thing. This weighs absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's so light. Um, this is going to be more the interesting bit. I'll try and balance it out perfectly if I can. Eight hundred and five for the pipe, and the other pipe. Seven hundred and ninety. Beautiful. Right. Let's try the stock can. Can okay, zoom up on that number? 3,300. Oh, and the cap.
2730. Let's just check. Let's go again. 3300. Two thousand seven hundred thirty. Thirty. <laughs> so on screen now, because I can't do quick maths, is how much we've already saved, plus the lithium battery and everything else. Two thousand seven hundred thirty. 